What's up guys, this is the new ASUS BT10 and it's a very fast Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. So I want to demonstrate a wireless test and a wire test. Now here's the kicker. That's currently in wireless backhaul configuration and I'm going to kick off the test on my Mac Mini, which is a Wi-Fi 6C card. So long story short, that's in wireless backhaul configuration, so it's wirelessly talking to the other ASUS BT10. And as you guys can see, only power is connected to it. And this Mac Mini is wirelessly talking to that guy. Now, the point of this video is I want to show you guys you don't necessarily need Wi-Fi 7 devices to get a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system like the ASUS BT10. So I did a speed test. I got 1.6 down. I got 800 up. And I mean, depending on the server, it can actually vary. So if I change it to, I don't know, a different server, let's say... Uh, where is it? Misaka is pretty good for download, not for the uploads. Let's try GSL. Let's try that. But it's going to be right around, the point is it's going to be right around that 1.3 to 1.5, 1.6 speeds. And the upload is going to be right around, it, it should be over a thousand, but let's just try to get the maximum possible speed. So I'm like, I know GSL Networks is typically a better network, so you guys could see we are actually getting uh, better speeds. And I will do a local speed test as well. But long story short, on Wi-Fi, I'm getting 1.6, almost 1.7 down, and I got like 1.2, 1.3 up, something like that. Now here's the cool thing. So the reason why you don't necessarily need Wi-Fi 7 devices is you can connect a device like my Mac Mini via Ethernet to a wireless backhaul node. So even though that guy's wirelessly talking to the main ASUS router, I'm literally going to connect this and I will turn off my Wi-Fi and I wanna show you guys how fast it actually is um, literally connected via Ethernet. Now this Mac Mini has a 10 gig card in there so it can support speeds of up to 10 gigs and again, my internet speeds are five gigs up and down, uh, but check that out. Literally in wireless backhaul, I can get my full five gig download speeds. Now I'm not gonna get the full five gig upload speeds uh, and that really depends on the server, uh, but check this out. I got five gigs down and I'm getting three gigs up on wireless backhaul. And this is the whole point that you don't necessarily need Wi-Fi 7 devices to take full advantage. Now here's the other thing. I ran an internet, uh, a local speed test earlier, but I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to run another local speed test. And I think the other computer fell asleep, so give me a second. 12 seconds later. My other computer did fall asleep, so I just woke it up. So let's run a local speed test server so you guys could see the difference. So I am getting faster speeds. Well, now it's back down, but basically I'm getting five gigs down and the upload now should be better because I'm no longer relying on the public speed test server. So this is literally just my Mac going to the ASUS, the ASUS wirelessly going to the other ASUS, and then the other ASUS making its way to my other computer. So I literally got five gigs down and five gigs up. And this is the beauty of Wi-Fi 7 devices. So you don't necessarily need to have a Wi-Fi 7 device to take full advantage because literally in wireless backhaul mode, you're getting crazy fast speeds. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.